Are you wanting to venture into the world of a gaming monitor, but you don't have the budget for one of those big OLED screens? Well, this could be for you. It's a lot faster than your traditional monitor. It runs at 100 hertz compared to a normal 60, and it's got a response time of one millisecond, so it should make the gameplay really smooth. The first thing we notice about the monitor is the packaging. It comes in a simple brown box with black print. The front bears a basic diagram of the monitor, along with most of the specs you'll need. The reverse side of the box mirrors the front. A nice touch to the box was on the top lip. It actually gives you diagrams telling you how to take the product out of the box, as well as assemble it without the need of reading a manual. When we unbox the monitor, we see the packaging is pretty good. Each item inside is well protected with the polystyrene. Only problem is, is every single item in there is wrapped in single-use plastic bags, with the exception of the manual that comes in a clear plastic resealable bag. Not sure why a manual needs a bag in the first place, but hey-ho. Inside the box, we have the base, the stand, a manual, a warranty card, a 1.6 meter power lead, a 1.5 meter HDMI cable. Interestingly, there is no VGA cable provided, even though the monitor supports it. And of course, we have the star of the show, the monitor itself. Setting up the monitor is a breeze. Make sure your surface is clear. Keep the monitor in one side of the polystyrene, obviously to protect the screen. And then attach the stand to the monitor by just sliding it up, and then the base to the stand by just pushing it in. After that, all you've got to do is stand it up, plug in the cables, and you're good to go. Remember though, monitors can be easily damaged with a little bit of pressure on the screen, so be cautious not to touch the screen. Another thing to note, you will need to change in Windows, in the advanced display settings, the hertz of the monitor from 60 up to 100. Now let's take a look at the back of the monitor. Here we have a Kensington lock for security against theft, a joystick control for easy setting navigation, You've got a Visa wall mounting holes on there for mounting on a wall or stand. You've got VGA and HDMI ports for connecting up to your PC or device. A power socket and a headphone jack. There's also a Cooler Master logo printed at the top left corner. Please note that to use the headphone jack, you will need to have the monitor connected to your PC or device via HDMI. Flipping to the front of the monitor, there are three plastic strips to remove. They can be a little bit tricky and don't always come off in one piece, but it's best to remove these, if you can, from the bezel side first. That's the plastic what goes around the screen to avoid any damage to the screen itself. If you are left with some residue on the actual screen, just wipe it off with a slightly damp cloth. One of the drawbacks of the monitor is its limited adjustability. The monitor only supports tilting, which is a pretty good angle at tilting, but it means you can't swivel it or adjust the height or orientation. The monitor is equipped with a VA panel, which is a great middle ground between quality and performance. VA panels can deliver deep contrasts and colour depth, enhancing your gaming experience. However, the screen can appear a bit washed out when viewed from an angle, or in direct sunlight, or a very bright room. One of the main selling points of this monitor is the 100Hz refresh rate. This means it can display up to 100 frames per second, also known as FPS offering a smoother gaming experience, but remember to fully leverage this 100Hz refresh rate, you'll need to adjust your display settings to 100Hz. Also, depending on the game, you might need higher performance graphics card to see the difference. It's an excellent feature, especially for gamers looking for that competitive edge. Let's talk about gaming on this monitor. The monitor offers a responsive and smooth gaming experience. With its high contrast ratio, it's perfect for games with dark environments, making the details pop. The FreeSync technology helps minimize screen tearing, providing a smoother visual output. However, it's important to note that while the 100Hz refresh rate is a definite improvement over the standard 60Hz monitors, it might not be as game-changing as a 134Hz or higher refresh rate monitors offered by higher-end monitors. Considering its price point, the colour of reproduction on this monitor is pretty solid. 
While it might not stand up to professional grade monitors intended for graphic design or video editing, for gaming and everyday use it does the job pretty well. The maximum brightness is sufficient for most environments, just bear in mind that if you're in a room with a lot of sunlight, you may struggle a little. That wraps it up for our detailed review of the GA241 gaming monitor from Cooler Master. If you're an entry level gamer or someone on a tight budget looking for a monitor that punches above its weight, then the GA241 is a fantastic choice. I hope you enjoyed this video and know I did. Why not check out one of our other videos by clicking this box up here or this one just down here. Otherwise, you can give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment below, let us know what you think and we'll see you next time.